as promised, we're going to look at the Schrodinger equation for uh, infinite potential uh, will. So we have h psi equals e psi, where h is the Hamiltonian given by minus h bar squared divided by 2m, the second partial derivative with respect to x, plus v of x. Our potential function in this example is v of x 0 if x sits between 0 and a, where a is just a constant, and infinity otherwise. So this is our potential function. It's a uh, so infinite square will so if this is v of x this is if this is x this is a this zero so basically we have the infinite will here that the particle cannot escape so the particle sits and lives somewhere between a and zero it cannot escape outside because this is infinite infinite potential in order for the particle to escape outside this world it has to have infinite energy but it, it doesn't there's no such a thing so we don't have infinite energies but we do have infinite potentials okay so our job is to solve this equation for psi I'm sorry we have to find uh, the solution uh, for this equation which is psi and we also have to find these energy values as any uh, differential equation we're gonna assume the solution and we're gonna try it if it works good if it doesn't too bad try again so this is our differential equation remember v is not here because v is zero between zero and a so let's define, let's define the new variable k, just to make things easier, as the square root of 2 m e divided by h bar. So with this new variable we have the second derivative of psi with respect to x equal minus k squared times psi. If you remember from physics 1, this is the simple harmonic oscillator equation and its solution psi of x is given by sines and cosines a some constant a times sine of kx plus b times cosine of kx and this equation here okay uh, i'm sorry no this side has to be fixed at the boundaries because if you remember from here psi lives somewhere here inside inside this this well and it cannot be outside so it must be zero at, at this boundary and it must be zero here it must be 0 at 0 and 0 at A. So, these are the boundary conditions we have. Okay, so... Psi and... D psi dx... must be fixed by boundary conditions which means that psi of zero must equal zero and 
psi of a must equal zero okay so when psi of zero equals zero this means that a times sine of zero plus b times cosine of zero should be equal to zero from look from by looking at this we know sine of zero is uh, zero right and cosine of zero is one so zero plus one is not equal to zero so in order for this to be true b must equal zero which leave us with the solution psi of x equals a sine of k a we're not done yet we still have uh, we still have the other the other condition psi, psi of a psi of a must be equal to zero so if we put psi of a this is going to be equal a sine of k a this must be equal to zero we cannot make the a equal to zero because that's gonna blow up our the first solution in order for this to be true k a the sine of k a has to be equal to zero which leaves us with k a must be equal to zero or plus or minus pi or plus or minus two pi or plus or minus three pi and the pluses or minuses we're gonna absorb them inside inside psi okay so we're gonna ignore the minuses we're just gonna take the positive side by looking at this we know a cannot be equal to zero so k must be equal to n times pi divided by a where n is equal to one or two or three where a is a, a, n is an integer so this is k sub n since we have k we know what's the energy now it's h bar square k sub n square divided by 2m and plugging back the k value that we just found here we have n square h i mean by pi square times h bar square divided by 2 times the times the mass times a square so these are our energy values so these are our energy values and the solution is psi of x equal to a sine of k x we're not done yet because this a we don't know it we have to find this a so here we're gonna do normalization we're gonna normalize a by taking the integral the particle must exist between 0 and a so we're gonna integrate the wave function psi I'm sorry, we're going to integrate the probability density of the wave function, which is the same as psi star psi. Which is the same as integration from 0 to a of magnitude of a square sine square of k x dx. Which is equal to the magnitude of a square times a divided by 2 and this has to be equal to 1 which leaves us a the normalization constant is equal to square root of 2 divided by a so that's that's big a and finally the final solution for the wave function inside the infinite potential will 
is equal to square root of 2 divided by a times the sine the sine of n times pi times x divided by a So this is the final solution for our uh, problem. This is the psi that satisfies the Schrodinger equation we started with. In the next video, video number 9, we're going to talk about the properties of the solution. It's very important. It's probably more important than this problem itself. What is What this solution means? It has about 5 properties that's going to help us for, the, for future lectures. If you want to understand quantum mechanics, you must understand the properties for this solution.